Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Step back in time to an era when fortunes were measured in ounces and dreams weighed as heavy as the gold they sought. In this captivating journey, we'll delve deep into the annals of history to uncover the most monumental weigh-ins that define the legendary gold rush. Welcome to the biggest weigh-ins in Gold Rush history. Get ready to strike gold with us as we unveil the closure. The dramatic and unforgettable weigh-ins that shaped an era of ambition, hardship, and unbridled determination. This game-changing gold pays for Parker's trip to the nugget-rich Smith Creek, ensures a season total of 192, and propels him to the Klondike where Parker records the three largest weekly gold weighs on Gold Rush. Parker's largest entry to date is 25-0, which is worth $888,000, and by far the biggest weigh-in in Gold Rush history. In 2018, 955-0 was valued at more than a million. It was a whopping 1,168-0 in 2021, with a $2 million payday, and an all-time scale bust in 2000, 294 a worth over $4.4 million in 2020. Tony runs the dredge for 20 hours to see if his million-dollar bet on the 75-year-old dredge paid off. Tony's goal is to make a profit. Tony needs the dredge to generate one ounce each hour in order to make a profit. Tony's dredge produces record-breaking gold throughout the next four seasons of mining amassing about 6,000 ounces in 2022 worth more than $10 million. Parker, Rick, and Tony work late into the night to realize their gold mining goal. Parker returns to Alaska after six months of mining in the Klondike to disclose his final gold total. The operation expands in tandem with the young prodigy objectives. Big Red and the wash plants from Hell are running two wash plants. The plants have engaged in a gold mining fight over the years, with Lucifer bringing in over 21,000 ounces, worth over $31 million. However, Old Faithful Big Red takes the top spot. A whopping 26,000 ounces worth nearly $37 million were delivered. Four days later, the group gathers to determine whether Parker's risk in running Bedrock was worthwhile. They weigh in at 48.41 or a whopping $870,000. Mud Mountain breaks record after record in the last weeks of the season as Tony Beat's crew runs their equipment for 25 hours straight. They hope to have broken a curse and delivered gold. After counting, they discover that they have six ounces of gold valued at more than $11,000. This achievement motivates them to keep working hard and looking for more gold as they move further into the ground. While Parker Snobble departs for Fairbanks, putting supervisor Mitch Blaschke in charge of getting two plants operational in five days to optimize their gold extraction process. Mitch intends to drag Dr. The So Fur onto a big area and install the giant stacker before Parker returns from Alaska. The crew is scrambling to set up the sole for running paydirt. The 120 super stacker is connected and successfully reaches the pre-wash. Parker's crew begins running pay soil through the wash plants and is pleased with the results. Parker gives the crew an update on his Alaska venture, where they're ready to strip and build a plant pad. Parker is one step closer to mining out the 90-acre airfield now that both wash units are operational. However, there are certain drawbacks such as a conveyor problem and a blown-out engine, despite these difficulties. Parker's other wash, Plant Big Red, has been selling Simple Street Cut pay all week, yielding a gold haul worth more than $290,000. The team is ecstatic about surpassing the previous year's ounce count and plans to keep pushing forward. Tony Beats and his squad are under pressure to have a record-breaking season. Shack Deck, on the other hand, shuts down twice, producing dissatisfaction. They are unable to locate a two-foot stretch of sea channel that has been broken off the wash plant, making their operation difficult. 
Despite the setbacks, they improvised by welding the C-channel back in place to keep the material going. Finally, they may begin processing the tailings and hoped to see their efforts rewarded by the discovery of more gold. Parker Schnabel is upbeat about the season's early start and the possibility of cutting their expenses with the gold they uncover as the Beats family weighs their gold for the week. Monica returns with their granddaughter, bringing some joy amidst the challenges of the gold rush. Tony Beats Parker Schnabel and others discuss their best gold finds. Tony says that they made almost $310,000 from the last of the old-timer tailings. Parker also claims that they discovered gold worth more than $145,000 in just a few days. The overall amount of gold mined for the week is nearly $460,000, which is more than double the amount mined at the same time last year. I am overjoyed with the results and anticipate making even more money and gold in the future in another section. Fred Lewis and Brandon Clayton collaborate to boost their output by pooling their resources and talents. They feel that by working together, they can significantly improve production while also maximizing their earnings. Tommy Beats and his crew are ecstatic about their significant gold discoveries, which include Red's largest gold haul to date and the potential to double their productivity. Tommy's efforts, however, are thwarted by frozen ground and a massive chunk of frost obstructing the conveyor belt, resulting in significant delay and gold loss. Despite these setbacks, Tony is determined to get his season back on track with the assistance of the 80-pound pup and to achieve his gold ambitions. Tony supervises the procedure and urges his team not to step on the mats because any downtime costs money, despite some lost gold in downtime. The Beats have discovered over $328,000 in gold, bringing their season total to nearly $2.3 million. Parker Schnabel, on the other hand, is struggling to meet his goal of 2,000 ounces of gold and is concerned about sending his staff home with insufficient gold. He has to find the high-grade pay layer before the winter, but he is still 800 ounces short. Troy Taylor, the landowner, makes Rick an unexpected offer to sell the property for a down payment of 150 pounds of gold. Rick should consider the offer because he has already spent a lot of money on equipment and is struggling to make a profit. Rick hires Kyle Lawson, a former iron worker, to run both wash facilities by himself in order to enhance output despite his nervousness. Kyle accepts the challenge and effectively controls the facility. They eagerly await the discovery of gold in the box, thinking that this inventive approach will assist them in reaching their goal of the gold rush. Tony beats Parker Snobble, and others make some remarkable gold discoveries. Tony Beats finds 2198O of gold from Monster Red and 95O from Rocky, totaling almost $500,000 in gold. Parker Schnabel receives his largest gold weight yet from Rally Valley and makes a significant investment in purchasing new acreage. Tommy Beats wants to expand his mining operations in Kino by prospecting fresh terrain. He digs, tests, and discovers some potential gold indicators. Overall, these gold miners are pursuing intriguing advancements and lofty aims. Tony Beats and his crew are establishing a new mining operation that will extract gold from dirt using a ball with a strainer. They employ a lengthy pump to speed up the process and are happy with the results when they discover some gold. Tommy is encouraged by this discovery and explores extending the operation with his family, while Parker Schnabel is weighing his gold and is thrilled with the results, which exceed their season's greatest gold way. Despite the difficulties they've encountered this season, Parker is determined to keep mining and make the most of the remaining weeks. Subscribe now for more thrilling updates and hit that notification bell to be alerted when there is a next post. Tony Beats and Parker Schnabel are each determined to reach their gold goals. Parker's team has reached half of their total ounces from last year, with 700 ounces needed to relocate Big Red to Mud Mountain. Meanwhile, 
Tommy is motivated to have his best season, yet after investing in new gear, both of whom confront difficulties along the route, with Tony coping with equipment problems and Parker relying on the success of their road extension. Despite the challenges, they stay driven and enthusiastic about their chances of success and profit. Tony Beats is determined to make up for his shortfall in gold ounces and cover his off-season investment. He plans to sell this fleet of barges for a million dollars, but his buyer drops out, leaving Tony with added pressure to deliver the gold he needs. Despite the setback, the Beats family has their best ever season in terms of gold production. Tony remains hopeful for the future and aims to reach his original goal of 9,000 ohms next year. A shocking discovery made by researchers can be found now by clicking on the next video.